Richard, you're in Griffith in uh, rural New South Wales, as we said. Just a word on the particular challenges when it comes to dentistry that are faced by people living in rural and remote New South Wales and indeed Australia. It's a huge, huge problem. And it's simply because there aren't, it's, there aren't enough dentists. It's the same problem with doctors. It's getting dentists and doctors to move to the regions and to look after patients. And it's incredibly difficult. I know that here in Griffith, I just from my general knowledge, there's only a couple of different dental practices and it's a big population here. And the Murrumbidgee is a big population. Admittedly, there are other major towns like Wagga, but um, it, that's a big problem for the regions. And certainly the further you get out, the chance of actually accessing a dentist becomes really difficult and it takes days to get you know might take days to get to see someone let alone go on a waiting list and wait for a long period of time to see someone so i think it's a big challenge i'm not sure what the answer is and how to encourage it. it's the same problem of how do we encourage doctors to go to the country how do we encourage young dentists to go to the country and work in the regions faced with those practical barriers and the limitations on you know the sort of money that's required to travel to the city uh, or to stay overnight in a, in a regional centre, would some of your lower socioeconomic patients with damaged teeth just have a, a lot of extractions before, th before radiation or surgery? Absolutely. Yeah. Unfortunately, what happens sometimes, particularly with patients who are, who are treated out, who are treated from the regions, some people take the attitude that, look, their teeth are all going to become problematic over time and that they may just do a full dental clearance and take all their teeth out. And to be honest, that's a terrible thing to do to someone. And if we had the ability for those patients to have ongoing dental care, then they wouldn't necessarily have to have every tooth in their mouth removed. And they could keep some, at least their anterior teeth, so that they can smile and not be embarrassed. What's anterior? Oh, these teeth. So these, these teeth here, because from radiotherapy, as you know, Julie, most of the teeth problems are at the back, we worry about at the back, the molar teeth. But you know, often I'll see people who, they just say, look, it's better you just have all your teeth removed and then you can have dentures. Um, that's a big problem, you know, because you, you don't, people don't want to smile, they don't want to communicate. Richard, thank you for speaking so frankly and uh, we urge everybody watching to have a good look at your blog. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks, Julie.